Hello and welcome to another episode of As Told by Gonzo. Thank you so much for returning. Today I'm going to be opening a package that I finally got from Arrow Video. So there's only really like two big sales that I really participate. Well, actually three. Uh, but the two main ones that I participate in are the Criterion Collection during the summertime. And then also um, the Arrow Video when they have a really, really good sale uh, like... 50 to 60 percent off their blu-rays i usually participate and i um always try to set aside some extra coin throughout the year so when that time does come around i am ready to go um but they were having a fantastic sale i think some of these were like 65 to 60 percent off uh which is insane all right uh first one up and these are all blind buys except for three of them um are not blind buys uh, first one up is a blind buy, and it's Climax. Um, it's put out by A24, at least here in America. I don't know who put this out overseas. Um, but it's something that I've wanted to check out for a very, very long time. And I didn't want to pick up the U.S. release because I didn't... Uh, I don't think that comes with any special features at all. And this has um, quite a few. Uh, next one up is a blind buy. I haven't seen it. And it's a fish called Wanda. Uh, my friend Patrick raves about this movie, so I had to pick it up, um, and it has a really good cast on it. Uh, next one up is Kurt Russell in Dark Blue, um, into these kind of dirty cop movies. You know, Training Day is one of my favorite movies. Um, so I thought maybe uh, this would uh, deserve a cool little watch here. Uh, haven't seen it, but I do like Kurt Russell and pretty much anything he's in, um, so I thought I'd check out Dark Blue. Uh, next one up is Psycho 2. This actually is a really good sequel, uh, follow-up to the original Psycho. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this. I watched this on DVD uh, a couple months back and really, really kind of fell in love with it. Um, so I noticed that uh, Arrow put out a, a Blu-ray release, so I thought, why not pick it up? I know um, Scream Factory also has a uh, edition of this, but I just like this cover art better than the... Um, the uh, Scream Factory release. So, uh, next one up is a not a blind buy. I've seen this before, and it's Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Uh, I really enjoy this movie. Uh, I do have the old Anchor Bay release uh, that they released on Blu-ray years ago. Uh, this is, uh, this has a new 2K uh, restoration. Um, I love this movie. It's really really good. It still um, scares me. Um, and I'm excited to check this out with the new uh, 2K restoration. So, uh, yeah, Hellraiser. Uh, next one up is a blind buy, and it sounds like it comes with the book. So that's cool. And that is Cinema Paradiso. Um, everybody tells me to watch this movie. Um, it is a Italian movie, um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I really enjoy Italian cinema. Um, Suspiria is one of my favorite Italian horror movies. I really enjoy that movie. Um, so I'm excited to watch Cinema Paradiso. Um, been wanting to watch this one for a while. Uh, next one up is American Werewolf in London. Uh, really enjoy this movie. This is not like the big limited edition set. It's just, uh, I believe this is just a single disc. Uh, but it has a new... 2019 restoration from the original camera negative, um, so it's going to look freaking amazing, um, and I love this movie, uh, the practical effects in this movie, uh, creature feature, uh, is really, really well done and still holds up today, so I'm excited to check this out. Uh, next one up, this is a newer release, but I've been wanting to watch it, um, uh, Pizal, he's, uh, I'll put his, like, link right here, uh, he does a lot of, like, horror stuff, uh, horror movie reviews, and he does a lot of, like, um, reviews on, like, uh, horror-based, uh, like, figurines, like, he has a big, like, Friday the 13th, like, mask collection and things like that, um, and he recommended, uh, this, he did a review on it, uh, when this movie came out, it's, uh, Edge of the Axe, um, I heard it's, like, kind of has that Friday the 13th vibe, but better, um, and obviously, like, a guy with <laughs> a mask coming through a door with a axe. So, that's cool. I'm excited to give, uh, give this a watch. Uh, like I said, he recommended it. Um, and uh, I trust his judgment. Gas Food Lodging. Um, cold du uh, cool Duder, who is... I'll put his link up here. 
um, who's also a YouTube uh, YouTuber who's been collecting like physical media for years. Um, and he recommended uh, gas, food, lodging. I really have no idea what uh, what this is about, um, but I've been wanting to watch it because he he speaks highly of it. Um, and I believe it's a 90s movie. I own the Criterion of this, which I'm pretty sure they have the same special features, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But that's, um, I had to grab this, um, and that's uh, Videodrome on Arrow. Um, I love this movie. It's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Um, and uh, I had to get the Arrow of this. Um, I believe it's the same transfer. I believe it comes with the same special features as the... Um, as the criterion, but I honestly just had a double dip on this and it was really, really cheap. Um, and I thought, why not um, grab it? And it's video drum. Like, come on, you can't have too many copies of video drum. Um, so, yeah, that is all of the movies I got. Let me know if there's anything in here that you've seen or any arrow, re arrow based releases that you recommend. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Also, thank you for everyone that watched my short film Morning Serial from last, um, a couple days ago, uh, that I shot last month. Um, I really appreciate all the feedback and, uh, yeah, until next time.